Welcome to How to Make a Complete Table View and Archive It, Part 6. And I know at the end of Part 5, I made it sound like that would have been the last tutorial, and it would have been until I remembered something. I forgot one of the main key features of making a complete table view, and that is making it actually movable when someone presses the edit button. And that is a simple method that could be inputted very easily, and that will be going over in this part, and this should be the last part. So, we want to make it move when someone press edits, and that's basically saying that there's three lines, the person can drag it around, and press done, it stays there, and it remembers. And we're going to do that now. So just make a new bool statement, and they're just going to name that table view. Um, do this. You guys should know this by now. Can move row at index path we're gonna make an ns index path and that is going to just be named index path and so basically what we're saying is can it be moved yes it can alright so then after here we want to make a void message and this is actually gonna be making it work when someone presses edit. So table view, colon, UI table view, and table view. So then after here, move row, move row at index path, colon, and as index path. And this is just going to be called from index path. Then right here, we want to say to index path, colon, ns index path, and then, sorry about that, forgot the a, ns index path to index path. And in here, we're going to just put some code. Let's just, um... Okay, that was all spelled correctly. Always good to double check before building with an error. Am I right? Alright, so then in here we want to make it ns string. ns string, which is what I always get wrong at spelling, I'm sorry. And we're going to name this item. And it's going to be equal to our data object at index. And this right here, we're just going to put from index path dot row Rio <laughs> again I'm um, sorry about that and then we're gonna retain that and then in here we want to make data remove object data remove object and that would be the item and here data insert object and that is also the item and at index path that will be to index path dot row close that semicolon and then item release close that semicolon now let's build and go and we got one warning, so um, I capitalized the I there. You probably didn't make that mistake, but I always make that mistake. So anyway, so now um, this is our table view. Say we delete a bunch of stuff. I could add a new one. And so now when we press edit, we're going to see these three um little lines. So say I want the so pay attention. I'm gonna take table cell, click these three lines, drag that all the way to the bottom and press done. It stays there. So now let's quit the app and relaunch it and it remembers the placement it has been in. So guys, this completes the how to make a complete customizable table view that archives tutorial. This has been a great tutorial guys and I really hope you guys subscribe because there's more of this to come. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And remember the most important thing, have a nice day.